Intel might have a massive update to their GPUs, making them better. Also, uh, Tesla is not gonna update the Cybertruck until next year, and AMD gives us the update that their new GPUs aren't worth buying. Let's get to the hot news, everybody. I'm your bright host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And one little reminder that we are gonna be giving away this beauty of a PC right here. It's an i5-13600K RTX 4080 in the NZXT sponsored H5 Flow case with the NZXT T120 cooler. You've got the NZXT C750 power supply, and it also is gonna be wrapped in with the NZXT Canvas 27F monitor. We are giving this away at noon today eastern time over on twitch in case you want to join us for that it's going to be presented you're probably wondering why is it upside down brett because people complain about gpu sag and i i'm not going to fix it it's a it's just a it's a visual issue it's not a functional issue gpu sag doesn't bother me but i fixed it for y'all you can just run your pc like that there's real like what's what's the problem with running it like this besides everything's gonna flow the other way who like hey Let's normalize upside down PCs, not not upside down cases, upside down PCs altogether. And let's normalize uh, rooting for Intel's GPUs because oh boy, do we desperately need a third player in the GPU space. And there's new reports coming out from PC games hardware indicating that Intel actually might be beefing up their Arc series GPUs with a upcoming driver update that's gonna really look good. This is not gonna be the first update that Intel brings to us because we already have had a major update that alleviated a lot of the performance bottlenecks that we were seeing in DirectX 9 games, which are some of the most popular games that are still being played over on Steam. But PC Games Hardware indicates that Intel has identified and eliminated bottlenecks in their GPU drivers that will allow them to prepare a major driver update that's gonna increase performance across the board. Apparently one of the undoubtedly existing breaks has been identified and eliminated, which could allow for massive performance gains on these drivers. Now, it's not quite clear what date or what games this is specifically going to apply to, and this is just being heard behind the scenes, but given what Intel's already done with DX9 and the fact that I saw a report on seeing just how much junk was in GPU drivers, Nvidia's drivers were huge, AMD's drivers were a little small, but Intel's drivers were like 1.2 gigabytes and had no reason to be like that, and this is the biggest area where Intel can just make general improvements and we're likely going to see some some significant upgrades. So I'm looking forward to this. Intel hopefully will be rocking our worlds with a performance update to the GPU drivers. I'll let you know when that happens here on Hot News because I definitely want Intel to work in the GPU space. And I also want AMD to work in the GPU space, okay? Well, like I, I root for them, which is why I also hold them to the same standard that I would hold Nvidia and Intel to. When Intel promised day zero drivers for Elden Ring and was just like was nowhere to be found, we talked about that here on Hot News and talked about how that was an indication of bad signs to come for Intel's GPU launch. And that's exactly what it boded to. And I discussed that because I knew Intel could be better and should be better. So when I discuss AMD promising a day zero driver for a brand new video game and then not dropping a day zero driver for the vast majority of their customers, it's not because I hate AMD. It's because they promised something to the consumer that they failed to deliver on and that's bad for everyone everybody. You benefit absolutely none, you 6800 XT owner who thinks it's okay that Forspoken doesn't have a day zero patch. That's totally fine. I don't give a crap whether or not there is a day zero patch. I give a crap that AMD chose to say they were going to do something and then chose not to do it and then didn't update their customers about it. That's the problem that I had in yesterday's video. I tried to have that discussion in the comments with a few people. It has nothing to do with the game. The game, people don't like it. It's, the, it's being poorly reviewed. I totally get that. Whether or not a driver update was necessary isn't the point. What is the point is that companies need to communicate, they need to execute on their communication, and when they cannot, they should communicate more effectively saying that they missed the mark. Intel missed Elden Ring's Day Zero patch, they got lambasted for it. AMD missed Day Zero patch for Forspoken for everybody besides 7900 series owners, and that is just simply wrong, and I'm gonna continue to talk about it. And I'm gonna talk about Reese. I just, I've been <laughs> desperately missing Reese. We got Onion, we got Hagrid. I don't know what we're gonna get today, but we're gonna get hot tech deals, I hope.
Thanks, buddy. I think I don't know anymore. I'm so so confused, just like Tesla is with their Cybertruck. Yeah, you remember the pickup truck that they announced back in 2019 that they took hundred dollar deposits for and made millions of dollars off of people just saying, "Here, take my money." Five years ago, well, through four years ago, but it's going to be five years by the time that Elon Musk is saying that Tesla is actually going to be rolling out with mass production on the Cybertruck. Just saying that's going to be very slow this year. They're going to be very few cyber trucks that are delivered this year and it's gonna it's gonna be a while i mean this is bad obviously this is not good but it's not quite as bad as tesla announcing their brand new roadster back in 2017 alongside the tesla semi taking fifty thousand dollar deposits on that vehicle and still actually producing not a single gosh dang one of them speaking of spending your money on things that's, that's all I got for the segue. Dead Space, uh, the remake came out today or is coming out today, depending on where you are in the world. And according to reviews that have come out as of the time of filming, it seems like it's actually being respected as a decent remake in Gadget, saying it's the new benchmark for video game remakes. If you look over on Metacritic, it has an 89 score after or 54 critical reviews, which seems to be at least boding well that people might like this remake. Let me know if you're planning on playing it. Does it hit the mark for you? Did you play the original one? I want to hear from you down below in those comments. And let's go ahead and talk about the game that we talked about earlier, First Spoken, which is not being received well by critics. And despite all of the negative reviews, all of the things that I've seen of the game where I'm like, I would not want to play this. There's a small element of me that's still like, I feel like I still might enjoy it somewhat, but I can't bring myself to spend $70 on it, which thankfully I don't have to, because I'm not gonna give them my money. But the, one of the biggest things that came with Forspoken was the fact that this is one of the first games on PC that supports Microsoft's direct storage when it comes to loading times. And so there's a lot of testing that's now going on, seeing how does that actually impact it. And what's being found is that when you run it with an RTX 4090, you might actually experience a 10% loss in F FPS based on having direct storage available. However, there's a big caveat with that because the testing that was done for this was done in Forspoken's built-in benchmark, which has like loading screens in it. And they, like they tested the frame rate during those loading screens, which is like bad testing data because that's not how the game actually runs. So it's super not clear. Additionally, one of the things that I haven't been able to find out as of yet is like this is direct storage. But as far as I'm aware, it's not direct storage 1.1, which is the only version that supports GPU decompression. So you shouldn't actually be seeing a hardware hit on the GPU from having direct storage implemented because it's not using the GPU at the moment. It's 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 just better. But if you've seen any videos of Forspoken and the loading times, they are very quick. We have caught up to consoles, finally. Like every time I bring this up where people are like, oh, what console supremacy? Have you played a modern title, like a modern PlayStation 5 title or Series X title on a new console? The loading times are non-existent. It, loading times on PC are still a frustration, whereas on console, you load into something like Spider-Man Miles Morales, it's less than two seconds that you're in your game. It's a slightly longer on PC because we don't have the Kraken compression and decompression algorithm that the PlayStation 5 is using. Direct storage is supposed to bring us up to that, and that's what I'm talking about in that regard. But one of the SSD that might help us with that is the Corsair MP700. Corsair is showing off their new Gen 5 SSD, which is a mighty whopper chunker. Look at that bad boy gonna come in at Gen 5. It's gonna have speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second in read and nine and a half gigabytes per second write. It's a it's a speedy thunking boy, which is what you want to think about AMD's new GPU, 7900 XT and XTX, mighty thunking boys, right? But AMD posting a new article on their website indicating that, hey, you might actually want to steer away from our new GPUs if you care about value in the slightest because they showed off how do these GPUs perform in different resolutions and what is the frame rate per dollar that you're gonna be getting for that. So showing off the roughly FPS that you're gonna get at 4K gaming, but then when it came to 1080p gaming, they also decided to include the chart that shows you FPS per dollar and uh, you, 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 uh, you're you better off just getting a 6950 XT than the new ones. I mean, you're only losing 17 FPS, but you're, you're saving a whole lot in total value you. Uh, additionally, your best bang for buck from AMD is going to be on the 6700 XT. I mean, this is 
obvious that this is kind of typically how it goes, that the more expensive a graphics card gets, the more you get to the top tier one, the less value per dollar you're getting because it's, there's just marginal utility there. You're not actually paying the same value. So it makes sense that something in the low to mid tier is going to be the best bang for buck and something at the high end is going to be redonkulously expensive. But it's just as Tom's Hardware says here, uh, AMD published this saying that there's never been a better time to upgrade with Radeon graphics, but then shows that their new GPUs have a worse value than their old GPUs. And one of the worst parts about this is that they don't actually show off the 6900 XT, which they were selling for 670 bucks because they're not selling anymore. And that would have been a way better value than anything that's on this list right now, because it's just it's a it's a weird situation. AMD doesn't really have a whole lot of good value, even according to their own lineup, which is it's not a big deal, but it's, you know, maybe they shouldn't have published that article. I don't know. I'm not going to continue to complain about AMD's communication today because I'm going to I'm going to be done. Don't forget, we're giving away this PC. We're going to draw the winner at noon Eastern over on Twitch. I'd love to have you there. But once that's drawn, we actually have another sponsored giveaway that's going to be taking place. Ace Tech reached out to me and asked if I wanted to give away a PC. So I'll be announcing and talking about that after we give away this one. It's going to be it's going to be a lovely time. You guys get free computers. Heck yeah. All you have to do is watch me. I don't like that. Never mind. I shouldn't have said that. Goodbye.